Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Jennifer. Good Thursday morning. Welcome. Uh, Andy's off today, and you're here. Yes, we didn't get to do Monday live. That's right. So I was happy to come in and say mm -hmm. hello to everybody. Yes, it was Labor Day. Uh, cloudy day, we had some rain yesterday, a tenth of an inch. Our high though is a warm, warm day, 81. Today we're expecting to get to 71. Yes, mm -hmm. which is good. Claire is in cross country. I'm oh. a brand new virgin cross country parent. This is a whole new world. Yeah. But running in 90 degree weather, not so good. No. 70, 75, perfect. So. Mm -hmm. They love it. Yes. In fact, uh, Tina is up on the roof. Let's see what Tina has to say about today's weather. Good morning. It's Tina at Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. It looks like it's going to be a rainy day. Don't forget your umbrellas. She's right about that. Yeah, I hope she's careful up there. Mm -hmm. uh, we could see um, some more rain today. Most likely after three Kay. today. Is she running cross country today? Uh, she's supposed to have practice today, but I guess there's probably a big question mark next mm. to that I should keep in mind, huh? Thanks to Hometown Heating, Cooling, and more. Start of a busy weekend. We have a lot going on uh, this weekend. The Jackson Festival for the Arts starts yes. today. Uh, visit their website, Jackson Arts Fest, for uh, the lineup. They've got things today at Horse Blackman Park. And tonight, a uh, big show at Art 634. Uh, artists from Detroit coming in. Oh, very cool. To perform. And they have an uh, inflatables uh, exhibit at Art 634 starting at 5. Very cool. Is the whole festival there? No, it's uh, all throughout downtown Jackson School of the Arts, GSO, Horse Blackman Park, Art 634. Perfect. Oh, that's right, because I heard that uh, Jackson School of the Arts is having a patio event kind of a ca casual patio event Friday night where they're going to have um, some easels and uh, watercolors and things for people to just come and hang out and do it. So let's hope for good weather and go check it out. Yeah, actually should be great weather this weekend. We've got the Aviation Day at the airport on Saturday, uh, Crimson Oak Open House Saturday, Grass Lake Heritage Day. We've got the 5K Ruck March on Saturday morning and car show at Keeley Park. Heritage Day in Grass Lake. Wow. The SAU Gala on Saturday night, Stomp Out Suicide. On Sunday, we've got the Sandhill Crane Vineyards 20th anniversary all day Saturday. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Busy weekend. And if you can't make it to all those events, they could check out pictures. I mm -hmm. bet come Monday morning, you guys, I don't know how you do it, but you guys are everywhere. We will be there. Yes. We will have them for you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, the heritage, or the, uh, well, the, yeah, the everything, everything. <laughs> but the airport, having all those uh, cool planes coming in. Yeah. The B-52, the T-6, the Huey helicopter. So, should be a great day. Would Check you ride it. in it? Uh, I have. You have? <laughs> yeah. How was that? Well, I, I prefer to stay on the ground. Do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, the older I get, the more afraid of heights I am. I, I am I'm afraid of heights. Uh, I don't like to fly. I don't like to. You don't, don't like to fly, period? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, road trip more your jam? I, I just don't like to go anywhere. He likes to stay <laughs> home. Right here in Jackson, where yes. there's so much to do, you don't need to go anywhere. Exactly. Uh, big day today. I know all the guys here at JTV are excited because uh, I think they have money on it. <gasps> the Lions and the NFL starts tonight. Yay! And the game that's the most talked about in the entire NFL is tonight's Kansas City and Lions game. And the hype about the Lions, everyone thinks it's real. This could be an exciting season for the Lions. And there are people that are predicting the Lions will defeat the Super Bowl champs tonight. What if our season starts that way? That'd be a great way. It'd be a great way to yeah. start. Brandon, what do you think? I think they have a chance. Yeah? I think they can do it. Yeah. Okay. Brayden's calling it. Yeah. Uh, we still don't know if Travis Kelsey is going to be playing tonight. Uh, he's got a knee injury. So that would be, if he doesn't, that would be helpful for the Lions. Yeah. Of course. Not that I want him to be hurt or anything, but. <laughs> we have the uh, Aspen One Hour Football Show premieres tonight on JTV at 7.30 and 10.30. Josh Burgett and David Rice. 
open up the season. They preview the upcoming weekend games and look at what happened last week, plus the Wilson Mechnick Player of the Week and more today at 7.30 and 10.30 on JTV. That it means it's officially fall. Hmm? That means it's officially fall. It the, is. The football yeah. show is and on. It's starting to feel like football weather. Yes. Have you been watching the U.S. Open, uh, the tennis? Yes. Yes? No. No. <laughs> I mean, like for 10 minutes, uh. yeah. I've been following, I just was told this weekend to follow this Coco. Mm. So now I've been following her. Okay. Well, so it's, uh, we're getting to the quarterfinals now, and it's so hot at the uh, Arthur Ashe Tennis Center that the players are afraid that someone's just going to drop. Yes. Serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh, temperatures uh, feel like 100 degrees. Uh, the fans, everyone's sweating. They ch they're changing their clothes like between sets and uh, they're blowing cold air onto the fans in the stadium. Gotcha. Because how many tennis balls they use in the two weeks of the U.S. Open? How many? I, tell me. 100,000. What? Yes. What, do they have to use a new one every I don't know. Time? I don't know what happens to them, but... Um, Good for Wilson. They can't be recycled either. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why? Well, the only thing I can think of is put them on the, uh, on the feet of walkers. Uh, the, the, oh, yeah. Yeah, the, people, <laughs> yeah the, <laughs> the device that people use to study themselves as they walk. You could have the U.S. Open tennis balls <laughs> on your walker. Yeah. That yeah. would be kind of cool. So. They should do something with them. Mm-hmm. They well, sure. If they can't recycle them, what happens to them? They, they can't recycle them. They don't, they just, I don't know what they do. Sometimes I would buy a can of used U.S. Open tennis balls. I would think that that would be a great uh, thing. People would buy them for souvenirs. Yes. Mm -hmm. The uh, Ellis Sharp Museum, apparently they've selected a new director. Wow. Yes. The, do we know um, who it is? The board and the uh, selected candidate are in the final stages of negotiations. Well, I know, I mean, they're taking this very seriously. Mm -hmm. They were there during that big storm last night. They were there well into when the storm started. Mm -hmm. And I know one of the board members, it went so late, she's getting calls from home, you know, get home, get home. Mm -hmm. A tree fell in front of her. And she got into a car accident oh, no. on her way home from the board meeting. Is she okay? It was the interview meeting. Yes, she is. Good. But that's how dedicated. So it's a local, is. it's a local person. Oh, great. Yes. A local. Oh, community. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can't tell you who it is until they uh, they make the announcement. So, at least I think I know based on your hint that it's a local person. All right, we'll we'll let you know as soon as it's uh, official. So, do you have all these things we talked about? Are you, are you going to be doing any of them this weekend? Yes, but my my daughter's schedules are like destroying any mm -hmm. like work networking opportunities opportunities to be social with other adults. <laughs> Claire has a cross country meet in the middle of the day on Saturday in Battle Creek. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you make the, obviously this is just something as a sports parent you're used to, but mm -hmm. I am not, I'm getting used to it. I, we hauled our cookies all the way to Hastings on Wednesday or Tuesday for a volleyball game. Oh, Andy was in Hastings. Yes, I got to see Ella play, she's good. Mm -hmm. That team, you know, she's got such a good group of athletes anyway, it's culminating really well into their first year of volleyball. Mm -hmm. So, but man, the pressure is on in eighth grade. Yeah. It's no joke. Well, speaking of school sports, it's time for the Extreme Dodge Jackson County scoreboard. Yes. And what a busy day yesterday in the world of high school and college sports in JTV, volleyball. Starting things off, there's Concord losing to Bronson three to two, Columbia over Vandercook three to nothing, and Columbia has got a uh, pretty good team. They're off to a two and one start. Nice. Uh, Riley Eelsworth finished with eight kills. Uh, Hanover, Grass Lake, Eaton Rapids, Edison, Springport, and Western all winners in volleyball. We had uh, in college yesterday, Jackson College and Spring Arbor men, both successful on the pitch, two to two uh, for the Jets and Muskegon, Spring Arbor over Rochester, four to one. The women's uh, soccer game, Spring Arbor, there was a 90 minute delay because Ooh. of the weather, okay. but they uh, came back from that and easily defeated Indiana Tech 
and the Jets women winning over Muskegon, Volleyball Marion over Spring Arbor, 3 nothing. And today we have a lot. Busy Thursday, let's hope uh, the rain doesn't interfere with uh, all that's uh, happening. So a lot of uh, road games today. And if you get a chance, we've got uh, great college athletes at Col Jackson College and Spring Arbor University. Yes. They would love to have uh, fans in the stands. So there you have it. The Extreme Dodge Jackson County scoreboard brought to you by Extreme Dodge. And of course, you can check out results every day on the JTV website, along with uh, photo galleries and much more. Uh, a few weeks ago, I think maybe two weeks ago, I don't know if you were here, we are talking about the spotless giraffe. Have you heard about no. that? No. Is yeah. it still a giraffe? Well, it's a giraffe. It, it, it actually is a giraffe. There's proof. But it is a spotless giraffe. So rare, it is the only known spotless giraffe in the world born at Bright's Zoo in Limestone, Tennessee. And they, did, they didn't have a name for it mm. until today. What's its name? The name is Kipiki. Kipiki? And the public voted for that, and Kipiki won. And Kipiki means unique. Special. In Swahili. Nice. So. Well, welcome to the world, Kipiki. Yeah, uh, born on July uh, 31st. Oh, it's just now getting a name? Can you believe that poor mother? That that's that's the day after the that's the day <laughs> after. <laughs> no. Nope, can't can't even imagine. But I just am so curious how that could have happened. I wonder. We, what, no one knows. Wonder what dad so looks just, like. Uh, wonder what the milkman looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Some people thought, well, maybe it's part giraffe, part horse. No, it's all giraffe, and they have the uh, DNA to prove it. Wow. Uh, today's show is being brought to you by Tecumseh Center for the Arts, and now's the time to get your tickets for the season. They've got a great season lined up. Tecumseh Center for the Arts in Tecumseh features jazz fusion, comedy quartet, uh, three men and a tenor are going to oh. be there this, this season. Uh, they've got a crowd favorite comedy show, storytelling, Irish music, a magician, and more. Visit the TCA.org for details and ordering information located at 400 North Maumee Street in Tecumseh. That's a great venue. It is. It's a beautiful place and a lot of cool things happening in uh, downtown Tecumseh. Have you ever been to the British Tea Pantry? Where? The British Tea Pantry No. in Tecumseh. It's I've, fantastic. I've missed it. Oh my gosh. If you ever get a chance to go there for lunch, you do like high tea. With I mean, their food is fantastic. They have three, count them, three bakeries right on uh, the on main, main drag. Street. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandfather had a, and my uncle had a men's clothing store in downtown Tecumseh for decades. Really? Green's Men's Clothing Store. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we've, we've always had a soft spot in our hearts for Tecumseh. Did your husband wear any clothes from the store? When we were dating, I bought a car coat, car coat leather jacket mm -hmm. for him from there. Um, and, but then I think in like 2000, they ended up retiring. But my grandfather started it, I think in the 60s, so. Every once in a while, you'll encounter a man in Jackson and they will proudly open up their sport coat to show Furman's or Jacobson's. Jacobson's, yes. <laughs> you know what I like doing at garage sales is looking for boxes or hangers from Jacobson's. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been gone, long gone, yeah. but their boxes and their hangers <laughs> still hold up. So I always snag them whenever I find them. Well, for uh, several years after uh, the store's closed, we'd, we'd still use the boxes to yeah. wrap people's yes, presents yeah, and, oh, yeah. it's from Jacobson's. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I do miss Furman's too. I was actually, we were just talking with some other local business owners last week about what, you know, if you could plug in any shop downtown, what would it be? And we need a men's clothing store, mm -hmm. desperately, don't you think? Oh, yeah. We need a jewelry store too. Mm-hmm. Why don't you open the building is Why available. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jennifer has some <laughs> listings in downtown Jackson <laughs> if you'd like to be a retailer. That'd be nice. Wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you know what bespoke means? Like bespoke yeah. clothing? Okay. This is a newer term for me, but we have like a high-end bespoke clothing company that's looking at downtown Jackson. Really? Yes. Is it men's or women's clothing? Men's. No kidding. Yes. Wouldn't wow. that be a fantastic location? Either like the Blake building or the Dupuy oh, building. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, both those places retail open. Yes, mm -hmm. bring it, we need you. Yeah, in the building next to City Hall, which has sat empty for years, why? But um, it is, so. So I heard recently that there is a spa going in there. Hmm. Apparently Bart <laughs> <laughs> thinks otherwise. <laughs> Just let's put something in there, and I'll then what's it. happening across the street? Are they ever? Are they really going to open the the deli? The pickle barrel? Uh -uh. <laughs> no, not the pickle huh. barrel. The um, Murph's deli. Murphy's, Murphy's deli. Yeah. I don't know. Some maybe this fall. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be great. Uh, we have a, a great show for you today. We're going to talk about a uh, cool concert that's coming up. Uh, Center for Family Health has some breaking news and the uh, Emerging Technology Festival getting underway. And today we have a big announcement as to a um, headliner act that's gonna be part of that. Ooh, that's exciting. Yes, all today on The Morning Show. And it continues after this. Are you struggling with your mental health? We can help at Michigan Psychological Care. We are here to help strengthen your relationships, your interpersonal connections, and help you find yourself. Contact us today to live the life you've always dreamed. Northwest Community Schools provides a positive culture that inspires students to achieve greatness. We believe in kindness. Truly caring about the success of others starts with you. We believe in creating positive relationships. Listen and be present. Be prepared to be amazed. We believe in being intentional. Have a clearly defined vision and mission and be mindful. We believe in positivity. Give specific praise and celebrate all things. We believe in growth. Academic, behavioral, social, emotional growth is a mindset for both students and staff. We are Northwest. Go County! As a proud partner of Frankenmuth Insurance, Barker Weber operates under five distinct values. Integrity. We will be honest and fair. Stewardship. We commit to responsible management. Empathy. We understand how you feel. Mutual respect and trust. You'll always be our valued partner. Dedication will work for you wholeheartedly. Barker Weber and Frankenmuth Insurance, your local insurance solution. You can see it in our smile, service that is second to none, the kind of personal treatment you would expect from your own family. Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy has been taking care of the Jackson community for nearly 60 years. Whether it's your prescriptions, medical supplies, hearing aids, or over-the-counter products, you're treated like one of our own. Because at Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy, your health and well-being, it's a family thing. Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy, a good neighbor pharmacy. Locally owned, locally operated, locally loved. Hi, I'm Phil Tripp. And I'm Barb Tripp from Tripp's Collision Centers in Jackson, Lansing, and East Lansing. Body shops are telling people it could be four, even five weeks before they even get a chance to look at your car. With three locations, if we can get your parts needed at Tripp's, no wait, no hassle. We'll get you back on the road fast and safely. At Tripp's Collision, the right repair is no accident. Today's show is being brought to you by the Michigan Department of Corrections. MDOC is hiring right now. They have incredible opportunities in pretty much every area of corrections, corrections officers, healthcare and mental health professionals, food service workers, office staff, and much more. Get all the details about the openings and opportunities, including training, bonuses, and more at michigan.gov slash MDOC jobs. Cherry Creek Cellars continues their vineyard jams presented by Visit Lenaway. The uh, Sounds of Summer, one more event. It's the final event. It's this Saturday from six till nine, the annual Grape Stomp. So you can be like uh, Lucy Ricardo and uh, stomp the grapes. Music by Act Three, the featured food truck, Double T Foods, and uh, table reservations will be available at Cherry Creek Cellars. Gosh, so much going on this week, 
this mm -hmm. weekend. And so much greatness here at our table as we are here with some two of my favorite community leaders. We've got Bill Wapiski. <laughs> Wait, say it for us. Wapiski. Wapiski, yes. who is the CEO, and Sarah Benedetto, the COO of the Center for Family Health. So thank good you morning. both for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. good, good to morning. see you. Very good to be here. How is life at the center? It's doing great. I'm going to let you talk all right, about I'll, it. I'll, I'll just mention it for a minute. I've been there all three and a half months. Yes. And it has been a whirlwind. It's been a busy summer. Uh, lots going on. I feel every day I get more and more introduced into the going ons of the health center, uh, what we've done in the past, what we're doing today. And I'm really excited about where we're going into the future. Very nice. excited. So I'm curious, your perspective now three and a half months in, yeah. you've worked kind of coast to coast yes, um, yes, in this industry. Yeah. What do you see as highlights of, you know, what are we doing right here? What were you pleasantly surprised by? Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest things is that there's a real proactive feeling in the health center with the board, with Sarah and I, the whole leadership team, the whole staff, all the providers, um, relative to what else do we need to do to help okay. the community? And there's, a, there's an ability and a desire to actually do it. Nice. I, I've been a little bit frustrated when I've worked in other health centers. There's a lot of talk about how to best meet it, but the project we're gonna talk about today is the way we demonstrate uh, that, we, uh, that our words mean something. So I feel like there needs to be a drum roll. Yeah. Uh, like a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> what is the big announcement? Well, I'm going to let Sarah okay. hold that one. Well, we are really excited to announce that we are going to be adding on to our walk-in. We have actually two projects. Um, we are expanding our walk-in, and we are also adding a drive through pharmacy. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's very exciting. So when you say expanding, where, is this a construction project? It's a construction project, yeah. We'll actually be almost doubling the size of our current walk-in space at our downtown location. Nice. Um, adding more exam rooms, creating more access for our patients. We're going to be... Um, making it so that we can have a sick and a well side. So heaven forbid if we have to revert back to, you know, highly infectious time periods, pandemic or otherwise, then we can kind of keep patients more separated. So that will be great. I love that idea because I feel like every time I take my daughters in for their wellness check, yeah, right on top. 48 hours later, they have a cold because we it were sitting happen. in the lobby with somebody that yeah. 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 was yeah. a little under the weather. Yeah. That's where they should be is at the doctor's office. Yeah. Oh, I love that we're idea. We're making a much bigger lobby and actually our exam room space will sort of be able to be divided between a wellness and a, nice. and a sick side too. So. so what are you going to do? Like, Is it going to be like a bump out on the building? Yeah, or? it is. It's going to go towards the Ganson Street side and it'll be, it'll go out, it'll be like a 30 by 50 addition and oh. then on, on the side of that will be the two drive through lanes for oh, our nice. pharmacy and that's something we're really excited about because we hear a lot from our patients um, from folks again anyone can use our pharmacy so if you're in the downtown area it might be more convenient you can just drive through pick up your prescriptions and be on your way I would like to help you design the drive-through for the pharmacy <laughs> okay. yes. if, you're taking, if you're taking ideas this yeah is well one thing that will be a little bit unique about our drive-through is that we'll have two lanes but it's not going to be a window that you pull up to it'll be more like a bank It'll, there'll be a video monitor, oh, okay. and then it will, you'll speak to the pharmacist through the video monitor, and then the medications will be sent up and over. So I um, bet for um, a lot of your patients that have mobility issues, that's yes. a huge plus yes. for them. Um, on days like yesterday, when it, the sky opened, yes, up buckets and came down, that yeah. would be such a great absolutely. solution. And we still, in the meantime, do have curbside delivery oh. and also home delivery for oh. patients that have difficulty with transportation or other kind of access barriers. I so, did not know that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, I have one more thing yes. to oh, add to our little demo. announcement. Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> so any of you that have driven down um, Blackstone, the corner of Blackstone in Washington, yes. and wondered what that is, that is us. <gasps> That's our little uh, project also. When we redo our walk-in, what we're going to do is temporarily relocate our walk-in to the corner of Blackstone in oh. Washington. And that will happen later this fall. Yeah. We'll be doing some more PR kinds of things and making sure we get the word out. Nice. That will allow the renovations to take place much more quickly and efficiently okay. without us trying to be on top of one another. Oh, fantastic. So we really didn't want to not continue to do walk-in care. Yeah. Yeah. And, this, and this is wonderful. This actually uh, goes back to uh, Molly. It is. It's one of her last things that she did is, is purchase that property yeah. um, on yeah. Blackstone. So what, is that the that, uh, uh, plastic surgery practice? Yes, yeah, Birmingham. Okay. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So memory. you can already see the parking lots being dug out. Yes. Yeah. We're extending that. Um, Bill's been talking to Steve Castle so we can really yeah. 
um, the CEO at uh, Life or uh, Interfaith, okay. so we can work together on helping to get the word out in the community and helping people understand local neighborhood, coming. all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's oh. going to be. It, it's it's really nice to even have the ability to improve a property. Uh, yeah. in that area yeah. and I think it overall it, it just resonates for the whole for the whole blocks surrounding it well and I feel like that community is going to welcome the, the service so much yes. you might not be able to pull it back, pull it back. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll be talking about that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we have some planning to do what do we do with do the do property next? when we bring it back so yeah. more to come on that for sure so for our viewers that might not know who is your target audience like who do we need to let know what you guys do and how you do it well, do you want me to take that one? Well, or I'll start with it, but uh, Sarah has such a good uh, sense of the community having been here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the target audience is actually, it's open to everybody. And, and uh, however, we do try to focus in on folks that are in some level of poverty, uh, our target audience, if you will, uh, folks that are, um, that are under-resourced and uh, need easier access and or need sliding fee scale. Uh, we cannot deny anybody for lack of the ability to pay. Um, and we want to make the barriers as low as possible to make it okay. at ease. Oh. Uh, but it is still open to everyone. Okay. And the beauty, the, the thing, I've never worked in a health center that had a, a walk-in. And the beauty of that is that they can go there at the same time that they want to set up a new appointment, start a relationship with a, with a primary care oh. provider. That can begin happening as well. Nice. Um, they can be seen even if they have one of our primary care. Okay. It's really about uh, creating a, an environment where it meets their needs on their time frame. And you guys have specialists as well, don't you? We do. We, we have, have obstetricians, OBGYN, we have pediatricians. Yeah. 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 Now, one of the very first people that Bill met in Jackson was you. Jennifer. That's true. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. We, my job was to sweet talk him into coming. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I got uh, the the I got um, uh, Jennifer's name via the chamber. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, from um, Tim, Tim Booth. Th Tim Booth. Yeah. 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 So it was great. It was during I wonder why my you didn't get it from Sarah Benedetta. I know. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, very interesting but, uh, to me. Tim, Tim, did, Tim did a great job selling me on the community and all the wonderful things that are going on here. And then uh, Jennifer really helped me better understand uh, the real estate area and uh, where I hope to land at one point. I'm living in a, I'm renting a wonderful home right now. Uh, and the question is, where do I do? Where do I go next? He's living yeah. the lake life. I got it. I, I am know. living the lake How life. How was your summer at the lake? It was great. I brought two kayaks with me. Nice. So I, I love uh, Lake, lake Columbia yep. and a uh, wonderful place to live. And uh, I've been doing some biking around there. I walk in the morning. Nice. It's it's great. It's nice. great. Yeah. Well, we're lucky to have you. Yeah, thank and you. Bringing your experience and your heart and coupling yeah. it with yeah. Sarah's yeah. commitment to the community is yeah. incredible. Yeah. It, is, it is great. And we just look forward to keep pushing. And I do want to put a plug in with the board. The board has been so supportive of these projects and they understand when we do a needs in this assessment, how then do we potentially try to fill, fill those needs? And so this is one of them. How nice that you're not being met with no's. Exactly. Yes, and you know, exactly. one of the great things about community health centers like us is that our board are our patients. At least in our case, it's over 51% of our board oh, members wow. are patients of the health center and use our services. So they know firsthand. Right. So, and they're all volunteer. Oh, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. And then I think was it four or five of them just recently went to a national conference yep. uh, just a week or two ago. So they get it not just from what's coming from us, but the training they get at these national yeah. conferences that uh, support the 1,400 or so health centers in the country and certainly the 40 in Michigan. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. And we're still doing uh, school physicals, um, immunizations, uh, all the back to school stuff yeah. going we on are. now. Yeah, yes, yeah. it's yeah. Doing, doing really well. We, have, um, we also have two new pediatricians that have just joined us. Um, so that. we're really excited. They're both on board now and nice. getting yeah. up to speed. And yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, we have a new obstetrician yeah, starting I, on right. September 11th. And we just gave a prize away a couple of days ago to yeah. one of the winners of the physical. Yeah, we uh, gave away, uh, t what we try to encourage folks to come in during the summer and not wait till the last minute. I'm one of those that waits the last minute. But yeah, they came in, and so we have some. We gave away some gift cards to Amazon, which the kids love. Yes. So encouraging you to come in soon and get your get your physical yeah. done. Yeah. Such an incredible community resource. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having it's us. It's been great. Great. Always a pleasure. Yeah. From the Center for Family Health, CEO Bill Wapsitsky and COO Sarah Benedetto. More of the morning show after this.
Cherry Creek Cellars, nestled in the heart of the Irish Hills in Brooklyn, is the perfect place to enjoy handcrafted Michigan wines, hard ciders, and craft beers in a picturesque vineyard setting. Grab a bite to eat in our cafe with a variety of delicious menu items to choose from. Indoor and outdoor seating is available, including space in our old schoolhouse, perfect for a fabulous dining experience. No matter the season, we've got something fun in store for you, including hosting your next big event with us. Flexible, customizable options available for any occasion. And be sure to check out our Facebook page for upcoming events year-round. Cherry Creek Cellars, we believe in wine that tastes incredible. Good weather is here, and the Grand River Farmer's Market is open in downtown Jackson. Shop fresh Michigan-sourced food and quality products directly from local farmers and artisans every Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Fresh fruits, vegetables, sweets, crafts, and so much more. Accepting cash, credit cards, EBT, and Double Up Food Bucks. Conveniently located at the corner of Mechanic and Pearl Street along the Grand River. It's 5 a.m. and I feel like I can do anything. We've got apples and cabbage, 7,000 dahlias, vegetables, and brisket for dinner. Oh, that's <laughs> We've been coming here since 1868. There's a lot of cushy desk jobs out there, but this is my happy place. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Visit Napoleon Lawn and Leisure today or find them online at napoleonlawn.com. Napoleon Lawn and Leisure, your local John Deere dealer for over 30 years. Compassion works here. Unfriendly does not. If you're made of the right stuff, consider a career at the Michigan Department of Corrections. We offer great pay and benefits, paid training, and we have immediate openings for corrections officers, healthcare professionals, food service workers, and more. To find openings in your area, go to michigan.gov slash mdocjobs. We're MDOC, good jobs for good people. Family owned and operated make professional tree care your choice when it comes to your property. Our certified arborists will examine your landscape and handle all your trimming and maintenance needs. From tree removal to tree trimming and stump grinding to lock clearing, PTC gets the job done. Professional Tree Care is proud to serve members of the Jackson community using cutting edge equipment and your satisfaction is our guarantee. Visit us online at ptcjackson.com or call 517-499-2820. Today's show is being brought to you by The Dirty Bird in downtown Jackson, one of our great neighbors. They specialize in the bird, the chicken, and they've got all kinds of great sandwiches, wraps, salads, sides, and more. And this weekend, you'll be able to enjoy their great patio seating, and uh, they've also got uh, even more seating in front. 140 West Michigan Avenue, downtown The Dirty Bird. And Swingin' at the Shell wraps up a great season of entertainment this Sunday night. They've had some fantastic concerts all summer long, and it's a free concert. Sunday night at Victory Park at the Band Shell, and like last year, they are finishing big with Simply Queen, a Queen tribute band. Uh, they capture the amazing live Queen experience, and it was the biggest show of the year last year, and they're back this year, 6 p.m. Sunday in Albion swinging at the show. Okay, see I have to make all these notes for all these mm -hmm. events so yeah. I don't miss it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of events and greatness, the Jackson Young Professionals have not taken any time off. They have recharged, but they are coming at us with something really fantastic. So this morning we have Jess Houston and Greg Stevenson from the Jackson Young Professionals. Welcome. Thanks Thank you for having, having us. us. Well, what, tell us, I think most people do know, but mm -hmm. for our viewers that don't, what is the event that you guys have coming up? Yeah, so we're calling it Emerging Technology and Art, and it's really a new festival concept that celebrates where art and technology intersect. Nice. So we've got a very broad scope of the different types of art installations, the music, the experience, education. Wow. Uh, a whole new approach that you know we've learned from, from putting on other festivals in the past. Yeah. But it's something new, dynamic, and, and we're really excited because I think it's going to bring together different parts of our community. I love it. <laughs> and today, uh, you have an announcement. We do. As to a headlining act. 
And I think you brought a video. We did, yeah. Let's take a look. Wow. I can't wait. Right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like it goes with uh, the band show you guys were just talking about. We're <laughs> all about the tribute bands. We're all about bringing the fun downtown. So we're really excited about it. Yeah. So, okay, who is that? That is one more time. They are a Daft Punk tribute band. Oh, so fun. Yeah. Now, Daft Punk, they, they uh, retired. They have. Yeah. They, they stopped performing. So there's no way you can see the real Daft Punk. Mm, right. So this is the next best thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right here in Jackson. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the festival is Saturday the 14th of October. When is the concert? So the, the concert will actually take place on two stages throughout the entire time frame. So oh, the festival wow. will run from 3 p.m. to uh, 11 p.m. Okay. And we'll have the two stages with uh, a mixture of different um, music, like bands. Um, but instead of bands, it's going to be more focused on kind of the, the say, DJ setting or kind of okay. EDM. But I think the... The video that you saw of uh, One More Time, the tribute to Daft Punk, is the same energy that we want to bring. So we're actually going to have the whole festival site lit up like that, nice. and then have um, One More Time, a tribute to Daft Punk, actually be this just magnificent headlining experience. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. Yes. So what, where is the festival going to be held? Right downtown. Right downtown. Just like we did with Brails. Yeah. So <laughs> what about the uh, One More Time, where will they be yes. performing? So the, the festival center will be in the same location that we had the 2019 Brightwells Festival. So right off of Cortland in the parking lot uh, behind the, I think it's the Jackson County building, um, right across the street from the Masonic Temple. Okay. So if you think of Cortland and then Jackson intersecting, we'll have the main stage right in the parking lot facing south. Okay. Um, and then we'll have another stage right next to Jackson School of the Arts which will actually feature our indoor installations too, which we're really excited to work with them on. Oh, you guys amazing. did uh, Bright Walls. Uh, the first year, it was, it was difficult to communicate what you were up to, <laughs> yes. but it surpassed everyone's uh, expectations. And I know that's, that's your goal uh, again this year. Yeah, yeah, we like to jokingly say the first year of Bright Walls, you know, when we had this concept that we debuted, it was the, you want to put graffiti on walls, and I think to, to actually see that first mural go up um, just really clicked with people, and I think with ETA, the same sense of, like, art and technology, what am I going to see? Um, and that's where we're just, we're really um, excited for people to come downtown, see it for what it is, and go... I don't know what it is, but I love it, and yeah. I can't wait to see, you know, what it does for our community. Well, in both cases, just the unique nature of the festival, you know, that's right. what's going to get people up off the couch in downtown exactly. and people to come from out of town yes. to come and see what's going on in downtown Jackson. Exactly. I think it's brilliant. Thank yeah, you. and this year it's just a, it's a sneak peek. It's a one day, but uh, when we move forward, we're going to have a longer festival like we did with Bright Walls, so we're just excited to give you a peek at what our minds are doing. I love that. And you guys deserve a little bit of a respite after that <laughs> rock star festival that you guys put on last year. Coming away from that, what were some of the highlights that you reflected on? I just think for me, it was, we had an amazing team and just seeing all the work over the five years of just dedication and we're all volunteers. We take time away from our families and things to get this done. So just to see how much people love it, it's just reassuring and it always made me feel good. Awesome. Greg? Yeah, I think it's, it's the same. I think just, you know, getting a chance to, to really 
um, grow these relationships with our, who are now friends and like close family. We all started like raising kids around the same time, uh, which I know in, in the Brightwells days we shared like, okay, now we've got five, 10, yeah. you know, 15 kids. Um, and I think- rounded at like 11, I think, right I think now? so, yeah, I, it's hard to <laughs> keep track anymore, but um, I think being able to, to inspire things, inspire the community for, for our yeah. generation, all generations. Well, thank you for doing it. So you were able to communicate right while we're painting the walls with murals, but this year you've got uh, some graphics you brought along to mm -hmm. better illustrate what people are going to see. Yes, and these are just some examples, and we're really excited. Uh, I know in the next um, coming weeks we're um, actually going to be announcing our artists, um, but we're going to have a variety of what we call like light installations, uh, so we're collaborating with the city, who's always just been a phenomenal partner um, as we transform downtown. And then, as I mentioned, the Jackson School of the Arts, uh, another phenomenal partner, is going to be allowing us to host a uh, indoor installations. We'll also have a lot of hands-on uh, interactive demos. Uh, we've got a 3D um, printing artist who's going to come in and kind of showcase uh, some of the technology behind this. I think this is where it gets really um, exciting for us is just new opportunities and how we want to expand the scope. Are you guys still looking for uh, sponsors? We're yes. always looking for sponsors, <laughs> yes. yes, please. Yeah, we're uh, certainly looking for sponsors and also we still have our open call for artists. Oh. Uh, so we've got a lot of great submissions from, from the Jackson community, outside of the Jackson community. As Jess mentioned, um, this year's the preview event, but we want to start building a catalog um, if, the, if the community loves this event and we expand it in future years, we want to be able to, to bring in more, um, whether it's sculpting, as you can see here, um, or any type of technology medium. We're really just kind of saying, if you think it fits, submit it and let's have a conversation. Seems like anything goes. So, sort of, you know, <laughs> I mean, and this is, this is the fun of a festival, right, is, you know, we have these conversations and someone's got a, an idea and we kind of go, Maybe next year. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would imagine uh, with one more time Daft Punk experience being uh, somebody that will attract uh, fans from a wide area. Yeah. yeah. We're hoping so. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, let's bring them down and show them what Jackson has to offer. Yeah. Uh, so sponsors, what about volunteers? Do you need more yes. hands on deck? We're always, we're completely volunteer run and we always relied on the help of the community and the volunteers. Um, we are launching our volunteer application next week, so look on our socials to get more information about that, but we are going to be needing lots of volunteers to keep us going. And what socials is that? Is that specific for the ETA or just yes. Jackson Young Professionals? Um, it'll probably be cross-shared, but we definitely would love it if you could follow ETA Jackson on Facebook and Instagram. You got it. So we're going to all be saying ETA and everyone knows ETA, ETA. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Estimated time of awesomeness. Oh, I like Ooh, that. I say, right. We haven't heard that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we had a lot of fun at the beginning of this because we used chat GPT to help us creatively think. I mean, like, that's perfect because yeah. we wanted this art technology festival. So we used a, a robot, an AI, to help. And ETA kind of came from that. Well, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The yeah. technology and innovation. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like awesomeness. I think we might. Yes, I, don't, I don't think we did that one out yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll look forward to October 4th. 14th oh, yeah. for ETA. Thanks to Jackson Young Professionals, Jess Houston, and Greg Stevenson. Uh, Oktoberfest is coming this month. More on that coming up next. Michigan Center Schools, we guide every student in the direction of their dreams. We believe that when our students feel loved and respected, there's no limit to what they can accomplish. We offer fantastic facilities, academic excellence, one-to-one -one technology, and multi-tiered social-emotional supports. 
We believe we get the most out of our students when we prioritize relationships above all else. Michigan Center Schools, where your kids are our family. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is preparing. Preparing for the worst by putting to work the very best. Change is improving by replacing utility poles and redesigning our substations. Change is commitment. Commitment to upgrading 1,000 miles of our energy grid every year. And change is confidence. The confidence of knowing when it comes to keeping the lights on, we're always on. Consumers Energy, a force for you, a force of change. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country, and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long. Hop on your two-wheeler and come on down to check out Gear Up! The Science of Bikes. This exhibition offers a diverse collection of historic, peculiar, and all-around amazing bikes, as well as science demonstrations and exhibits that explore energy, forces in motion, engineering, and material science. There are lots of bicycles to see, interactives to explore, and things to do with Gear Up! The Morning Show is being brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. Now in their third generation as a family-owned and operated business, Vermeulen's takes pride in helping people furnish their homes with comfortable brand name furniture at affordable prices. And they've been doing that since 1925. Big sale on right now at Vermeulen's. Their home furnishing showroom features room-like settings so you can see how it might look in uh, your home. They've got designers you can touch and experience the styles fabrics and colors that soon will be in your home at Vermeulen's 2105 West Michigan Avenue here in Jackson and here to get us ready for all the fantastic happenings of fall we have got Bryce Davenport the CEO, COO of Grand River Brewery and Aaron Riddle the music director and we're going to talk about Black Steel Band Blackstone Steel. Blackstone, Blackstone Steel. Steel. What did I say? <laughs> I don't know. Blackstone. You had it half I was right. thinking my grill. <laughs> <laughs> Blackstone Steel. It is, it is the same as the grill, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good morning and Good welcome. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. you. What's new, guys? Well, well you know, is, is it, what's new is Jackson's music scene is coming back after COVID. It's been a while, and we have a lot of good concerts that are coming to downtown, thanks to people like Bryce. Nice. So we've got Oktoberfest, right? Yeah, Oktoberfest. Yep. Swing. Tell us about that, Bryce. Oktoberfest starts on Saturday the 16th. Okay. Oh, so September. September. Oh, September. Yeah. Not yes. October. That's the tricky part, yeah. right? Not to be confused. So it's not called Septemberfest. Yeah. It's weird. September uh, Fest? September. September. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> we're going to kick off Oktoberfest on September 16th with Blackstone Steel performing. Nice. At Grand River Brewery. Um, It'll be somewhere either on the patio, in the back parking lot. I don't really quite know yet. It really depends on the ticket sales. Wink, wink. Get okay. your tickets. Um, I've had a lot of people actually tell me that they're getting tickets. Yeah. But it's Jackson. People wait till the last minute. Yeah, we wait till the last minute. Right? They do. we got to yeah. figure out yeah. what we're going to do. So, yeah, starting at 7 o'clock, um, Blacks and Steel will start performing. We have VIP tickets available. That comes with uh, kind of an all-you-can-eat buffet spread. Oh. It's a free pint glass with an Oktoberfest shirt. Oh, nice. Um, some drink tickets in there. So, like, the VIP is going to be the way to go. You get kind of access to the band. You're kind of close to them. Um, and then there's just general admission tickets for 10 bucks. Okay. So, um, I had people asking me about those VIP tickets. Yeah, they're going to so be. I'm glad you said all that. Yeah, they're, they're going to be the ones that I think we sell the most of. I bet those are going to be in limited supply, so people need to get on that sooner they need rather to get than them later. Very quickly, because I only have so many tables to put in front of the band. So, yeah. Right. Um, 
And so then that's really the, the day that the party kicks off and there's a bunch of other stuff that we've got going on for the next two weeks. But really the focus is Blackstone Steel and just kind of kicking it off on the right foot. Aaron, tell us a little bit about uh, the music of Blackstone Steel. So Blackstone Steel is a, basically a tribute to all the hits that you used to love and that are out now. Nice. And we have a new singer and a new drummer and the new singer was on NBC's The Voice. Oh, Ooh. wow. Okay, and her name is Rio Doyle. Oh, and Rio wow. is an amazing singer. And our previous singer, Sue Furness, she retired at the height of her game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she did. And uh, Jimmy Durbro also retired at the height of his game. Okay. And so we have two new members. And with Rio, you're going to get stuff like Adele. Nice. Uh, you're going to get Lady Gaga. But then we turn around and do Foreigner, oh, Journey, fun. Heart. Okay, so I need 10 VIP tickets. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's, <laughs> and, uh, that's my tickets. Tickets. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can watch her on YouTube from the voice clips. And she was on John Legend's team and, and made it pretty far in the contest all the way to the end of the knockout rounds. Is she a Michigan native? She is from Adrian, Michigan. No kidding. Yes. Oh, fantastic. And she's only 19 years old. Oh, my wow. gosh. She was on the show when she was 16. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've heard some of the stuff. She's got pipes for like days. Yeah. And it's just like, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. And she comes from a musical family. Her mother's also an amazing singer. Nice. Yeah. So one of these days when Rio gets, you know, famous. Yeah, we can say we knew her when. Yeah. 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 Remember we'll when. Have yeah. to get her mom to fill in for us. <laughs> How long have Blackstone Steel been performing? As, uh, I guess it's been five, six years since I've been in it. Okay. Uh, I think it was 2017, actually, so okay. about six years for me. Yeah. Uh, I just come off of a health scare and wasn't doing much musically and went to help them out with their sound. And they strapped a guitar on me and said, start playing. And you never left. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never left. <laughs> and my left. son is in the band with me, jo oh. Josh Riddle. How cool. And so I get to perform with my son. Yeah. And he's amazing. He will be also opening the show. That's right. At, yep. Yeah, at the uh, September Fest, we'll call it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he'll be opening. Uh, his his name is Harmonic, as far as his music goes. That's okay. his stage name. Oh, nice. Harmonic, and he is amazing. He puts out music. Nice. He awesome. is. Uh, yeah, he's, he is amazing. Yeah. And Blackstone Steel is amazing. Yeah. yeah it's going to be you. a great show. Greg Soul is our new drummer. Greg is a great guy. He's a Jackson staple. Yeah. He's been doing this for years. Worked at the music store in town. Uh, Playford Music, if you remember that. Mm -hmm. And he's just a really good guy. Uh, really quiet, but not on the drums. <laughs> he's, he's nice and powerful. Yeah. So. Bryce, what other things can we look forward to during October? Oh, first? man. There's so much um, we were talking about in the green room. Uh, we've got a pretzel eating contest, a uh, <laughs> the Jaeger schnitzel, which used to be on the old menu, yeah. is coming back uh, starting on the 16th. So the Jaeger schnitzel makes its long awaited return. Um, uh, there's a brat eating contest. There's a Lederhosen dress up day. There's oh, a Durndal dress up day. And then there's a couple's best dress contest at the end of it. Um, and so essentially the end of it, um, I think the pictures are showing the beer mile that we're doing at Grand River Brewery. Nice. Um, that kind of ends uh, Oktoberfest with a fun kind of 313 Polish lager beer <laughs> mile. Uh, I love seeing yeah. some familiar faces <laughs> yeah. behaving in such fun ways. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, that kind of ends it. But there's, you know, every day there's going to be something fun. And it, the message is no different than when we've talked about before. It's just, it's a party. It's to bring people in Jackson together for like, you know, it's their kind of party. So yeah. that's all we really are focusing on is just providing a good time. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. These are new. Some of these events, the uh, like the Lederhosen contest. I, I had Lederhosen when I was like five years old. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like I don't know why, but anytime our family dressed up, they put me in that. Oh okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> dig it out and come on the day yeah, we're having the contest. I'm sure, I'm sure I'd still fit in it. Okay. I think somebody could help <laughs> us out and get you <laughs> some for the event. I and think I think we're about to release a video on social media of Wyatt, our head brewer, and I. We bought Lederhosen's and made a video yesterday. Oh, stars! It's mm. going to be kind of blackmailish. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, right. We got to see that. But it'll it'll yeah. Check our social media out. It'll be on there today. Yes. Also, <laughs> check out your social media if you're just wondering what you want to have for lunch because you guys post things and then I'm hungry for. 
all day totally. long. Yeah. And can't wait to go and order it. Yeah, that's the other probably thing that will happen during Oktoberfest as well is we're going to start a new lunch menu with smaller portions. Oh, nice. Um, it won't be as expensive as, as the menu is, so it's probably half the price, but oh, it'll nice. be a sandwich, salad, fry kind of yeah. combo type thing. So that's something we're really excited about. We're going to add some new stuff to the menu and, and uh, just offer more. And we're on prime patio season. Prime, mm -hmm. right? It's perfect. Prime. It's perfect weather. Get that time in before before it goes away. Here. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patio is open at Grand River Brewery. Always. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got many more days of beautiful weather for uh, patio dining. Yep. And that's always the the weather during Oktoberfest is always awesome too. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's probably why you do it in September and not October because <laughs> October is a little bit more variable. It's sketchy. It's dicey. Yeah, it can yeah. be sketchy. Yeah, Usually the sure. first week's good, but yeah. once we get past yeah. that, it gets a little chilly. Yeah. So Yeah, you never know. Yeah. Well, no, you never know. We can get snow right. out there. We're excited yeah. to yeah. celebrate Oktoberfest this September get starting on the 16th with Blackstone Steel get Concert. Get your tickets. 7 yeah. to 10. $10 tickets for general admission, but get those VIP tickets. It'll be worth every penny with food and drinks and seating right up front. Yes. Thanks to CEO of GRB, Bryce Davenport, and from Blackstone Steel, Aaron Riddle. Uh, the morning show wraps up after this. The Pick Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week, and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. If you're looking for high quality sheds, then check out Homestead Barns. With nearly 100 options, there's a shed for you. And if not, we can make a custom one to order. We have no credit checks and rent to own options. So we're ready to work with you. Visit us today. Now is Extreme's Ram Make the Switch event. Did you know you can custom order a new Ram for less than buying one? And you'll have it in 10 to 12 weeks. Also, have you seen the new Jeep lineup? Lease prices are great this month. Finally, the Extreme buying team would like to purchase your vehicle. Extreme pays top market value. It's easy, safe, and you get paid on the spot. Visit Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Oh, yeah. If you're looking for a high-quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER-trained providers believe high-quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. The classics are a king at Marshall Motors in Jackson. It's a blast from the past with over 100 hot rods, muscle cars, and classic rides waiting for you at 4500 Ann Arbor Road. We buy, sell, or trade used in project vehicles. Payments and layaway plans are also available. Check out our inventory online at marshallmotorsclassics.com. Cruise on in and walk our lot. Check out our old-fashioned gas station and picture yourself in a classic car or truck of your dreams. Marshall Motors, a blast from the past. It's football season. Lions tonight. Everyone's excited about that. Here at JTV Sports, we're excited about live high school football. Woo! Northwest, their season is off to a great start, and Battle Creek, Harper Creek, will be at Mountie Stadium, and we will too, live Friday night at 6.45 at the pregame show, and then that game replays at 10, and then all weekend long on the Avenue Auto Sports Weekend this weekend. Uh, you're going to have, uh, you'll be back here Monday? I will be here Monday. Oh, great. Well, we'll look forward to you and Andy on Monday and your guests. Later today, Greg O'Connor, Troy White, Lydia Sattler, Alexandria Viger, Hayden Beatty, Daniel Mahoney, and Rick Walton. Wow, great show. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye.
Do you want to try something?